Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. This is episode 6. Last time we... Well, we came up from the basement with our fancy submachine gun, got the last of the keys, and finally got ourselves a full set of three square... Uh, three square pieces for the chief's room, which we're now going to head back to with our square pieces. First little inventory management. Let's deposit that. We've got our three stones. Deposit that. We've got our health item. And we are going to prepare for trouble. So we're going to bring the grenade launcher and some acid rounds. We don't have any other regular ammo. Alright. Good to go. The chief's office is behind us. So this way. So as I mentioned, I think we're getting pretty close to being done with the police station. Which means we are done almost with the first third, or maybe even first half of the uh, game. Or at least Claire's scenario. Alright, Chief's office is this way. I should probably equip this and not just run around barehanded. So as we, uh, we found a variety of notes regarding the Chief, mostly from his secretary, pointing out that he's actually kind of a creep. Which, you know, he was hanging out with a dead mayor's daughter. Claire. So I guess it's not that surprising Sherry, that he's uh, a little you're okay. off. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Cherry, why are you hanging out in this creepy man's office? Anyhow, let's use our Mayan themed stones. <laughs> reveals a secret chamber. What a surprise. So there's a straight up email to the chief, or mail or whatever, from a important Umbrella employee, William Bergen. I'm sure he's got no relation to Sherry Bergen. Claire! I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Be good, little sailor scout. It's also interesting that that note right there mentions the canonical survivors of the first game, which include Barry Burden and Rebecca Chambers, even though there is no actual ending you can get in the first game where all of the Stars members escape. Ah! Help me! Ah! 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 Listen, pal, you didn't see nothing. So, it seems like the chief is in a bit of trouble. Not that we're too worried about him. Since he's got this creepy murder dungeon down here. <laughs> so, you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. But I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. 
Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio-weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen this little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out. The monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. An ultimate bio -win. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Ugh. I just can't take the pain. Godspeed, little xenomorph. So the chief was implanted by some sort of eyeballed armed monstrosity. And now he's dead. Which is probably for the best. Since he wasn't gonna shoot us. And also he has this creepy taxidermy murder room which is just full of human skulls. Presumably the police chief's daughter's head is down here somewhere now. Sure, let's follow the thing. Gotta catch it before it matures into a full drone or warrior. So I think you can guess what's coming now. Derpy looking fellow full of bug JPEGs is the G embryo. The first boss of the game. He's also very weak against acid rounds. Oh, oh, they got me. Those little guys are just the uh, the annoying part of the fight, and so people keep spitting them out, and they jump on you and do damage. So, now we found our way out of the police station, through the sewer, apparently. But we can't just leave Sherry behind. G-Virus is actually her father. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But... Don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! 
Of course, she doesn't actually tell him where the way out is. She just assumes he'll find it eventually. Take her through the creepy murder dungeon. Try not to look too much at the uh, split in half guy. Get out of here. Claire? Run! Well, I guess we found the owner of that eyeball arm. So this time we've become Sherry again, but uh, not because she ran off doing something stupid, but because something extremely improbable happened, and we got sucked down the sewer vent. So you can surmise then that this is a picture of William Birkin, as well as his wife, who was mentioned in the note as Annette Birkin. who was to be the police chief's contact. Some, some ammo up there for the bow gun, but well, Sherry can't reach it. Also, there's a zombie here, but since zombies can't, uh, they don't have a grab animation for someone as short as Sherry, they just puke on her instead. Oh, that's the way we came in. Whoops. It's kinda gross when you think about it, because it's just them literally spewing up their rotting stomach acid on you. Also some grenade launcher ammo up there on the shelf, but again, she's too short. She could probably climb up the shelf, kids always do that. Crawls through this air duct, which is full of giant cockroaches. We're not really dangerous, they're just one of those annoying enemies that stops you in place. Oh, hey look, a garbage room. That right there looks like an ammo box, but I guess it's supposed to be a can. There's a few more of them, too. It's a shiny thing, though. That's probably bad.
Got some blue herbs here, which are used to cure poison. Uh, I usually don't bother with them because there's so few ways to get poisoned. But there is one particular enemy that will always poison you in these games, which we will be seeing soon. Also, got ourselves a new safe room here in the sewer. So clearly there is a way to an Umbrella Laboratory through here, based on that fax. So all sorts of goodies hidden in this room. Some ammo in here. And here's where we last saw Sherry. She was down in this little warehouse. I actually probably should have took my pistol out, because there is still a zombie here. Or we could just do that. So... Sherry went through this vent, but of course that's pretty tiny. So there's not really anything in here other than those two items. Do some inventory shuffling. You don't need the grenade launcher right this second. Don't need ink ribbons. I don't think we actually took any damage in that fight with the uh, embryo. So let's take out the pistol and. You know, let's actually just take the bow gun for now. It's not very good, and I want to kind of burn through the ammo before we actually, you know, need other stuff. And I think that's all we need. I'm sure remember if we need any specific items to bring with us. Hmm, actually there is one item we're going to need. It is a sewer. It's full of pipes and such, so let's take the valve handle with us. What? No, cook. Cook. Alright, so let's head down a ladder over here. Sorry, not the ladder, the elevator. The <coughs> automated ladder. Map of the sewer. You can see there's quite a bit to see. There's also another elevator here, but it's not down here, so we can't take it. Thankfully, the sewer is actually not a very combat heavy area. Or at least there's not a lot of enemies we have to fight. And that's because. I don't know if you can hear the little thump thump right now. There's a particularly non-threatening enemy in this area. There are also some dead armored mercenaries here. With some flame rounds. Yes, there are web spinners in this area. The giant spiders. They can spit poison at you. But for the most part, they're so non-threatening because of how slow they are to do that. 
that they're actually not a problem. They're actually more dangerous when they're on the ground than when they're on the roof. Because when they're on the roof, they'll try to just spit downward on you, like that. But when they're on the ground, they can actually projectile spit at you and hit you from a distance. And helpfully, there is a thing of blue herbs here in case you get poisoned by them. Uh, this is one of the planters that you can't actually take with you. Like, you can't take herbs from here, but you can use them if you need them. Who are you? Oh, I see. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Let me guess. You're here to steal my husband's G-Virus, aren't you? You are tenacious, I'll give you that. Husband? Then you must be Annette. Sherry's mother? What? Sherry's wandering around alone in the sewers. You have to help me find her. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. Let me explain it to you in the form of an animated cutscene. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is! So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Which one? There's only like 20. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G-Virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! I'm stopping it! What is this thing? No. Hurry! Wh what is this thing? Fire! So those rats were the carriers of the virus? As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But... And that's not even the entire story. Every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. That's why he's after Sherry. What are you trying to say? The bodies of individuals with non-related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo, but since Sherry is his daughter, that possibility is non-existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. It's Sherry. You go that way. So... After that we long explanation, we now know how the uh, T-Virus outbreak started. It's not completely clear when she says it, but basically there were some vials of T-Virus in that case, and uh, 
William crushed him, and the rats ate him, and then the rats got infected and went around infecting people. And that's what happened in Raccoon City. We're going to head back to the uh, save room before we continue. As uh, we've, we've been running for a little bit here. So now we know why there's all these bullet holes and dead mercenaries in the sewer here. There's another one in the corner there. Resident Evil Outbreak actually has a, a recreation of that cutscene as its intro, which is pretty cool. However, the Resident Evil Outbreak <coughs> Left 4 Dead 2 map that tries to recreate that is pretty awful. Especially that cutscene, because you're literally just sitting there watching a camera zoom around. Anyhow, that'll do it for episode 6 of Let's Play Resident Evil 2. Uh, I think we're making pretty good progress through Sherry's campaign. Probably uh, won't take too many episodes before we get to Leon. No, actually. It's also the positives. I've been Shadefire, and I'll see you folks all around in the sewer once again. Until then, you folks all take care. <laughs>